Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. I've got a couple of things for you today. We are going to review a fantastic yarn and then I'm going to teach you the bouquet pattern in weaving on the rigid heddle loom with the fabulous yarn. First I want to tell you about the yarn. I found this when I was doing the Tampa Bay yarn crawl and I was at a bit of yarn in Inglewood, Florida and when I did the yarn crawl I was doing it as an exploration to see what the yarn shops were like in my region and also to see what was around the shops because they are very close to some of the best beaches in the country. So, and cute little towns. So I went on that exploration. However, when I would look through the yarn stores, if there was a yarn that really, you know, called out to me, uh, intrigued me, then I would get it. So what happened was, at a bit of yarn, as I was looking around, I found this yarn, and it was in a lovely skein that showed all the different textures. This is Alp Natural by Feza, and it is about six different types of yarn in one. So, <laughs> they're beautiful. And immediately what I was thinking when I saw it was um, it's soft. Some of them feel like t-shirt material. And it made me think of a very elegant yet simple t-shirt that is just beautiful. Uh, however, I was, I'm not going to make it into a shirt because of the different types of yarn it gives it a striping and that's not really what I was going for. So I decided I'm going to weave it. So about this yarn, this particular Alp Natural is all naturally dyed and 100% of it is made by women in Istanbul. The fibers are cotton, viscose, silk, and linen. And because it is, I think it's six different yarns, when you come across them, they're just knotted together. So as I was making these balls, I thought I can't deal with the knots when I'm working on a project. I have got to prep this. And it takes time, but it's worth it. I went through, this is three skeins total. I went through each skein making the ball. And when I came to the knot, I cut it and I did the magic knot so that it would be tiny and not seen. And if you don't know how to do the magic knot, I'll include my video on how to do that at the end of this one. It's a very valuable thing to know because once I learned it, I, I use it all the time. You can connect ends and they truly are not seen when you are doing your project. And it does take time beforehand, but then it's so worth it when you are going through your project to not have to stop and not have to weave in ends at the end or worry about ends at all. You can just keep going. So keep that in mind if you're doing a project where you change colors or I've used it just so many times. So now I'm gonna go on and prepare the loom and then I'll teach you how to do the bouquet weaving pattern. So I've started the Brooks bouquet pattern and it is just very fun. It adds a lot of flair to your weaving. It makes it lacy looking, more interesting, and it's just really a lot of fun. And as you can see, this is the yarn that changes. It's all different types of yarn in the same weight and same general color. And it just makes it fun because the yarn is all different. So I've done a bit of this and it happens to be that the yarn that I'm on right now is very slippery. But I thought it still might be okay to show you that in case you work with a slippery yarn. So what I've done is my bouquet is in groups of three, strands of three. You work with the shed up so that you get this nice window pane pattern. So what you do is you go under the first three and just be mindful always where your yarn is. You're going to go back over and under those first three 
and then also under the next three because what you're doing is you're capturing the first three into your bouquet. The yarn is fully wrapped around it. Now because it's slippery, I have to keep some tension on it. Otherwise they get loose and kind of weird. Okay, so your first one is tight and captured. You're gonna go under the three that you just went under and then under the next three. And because of my slipper yarn, you can see I'm just constantly holding it. But you get the idea. And if your yarn's not slipping, you can just probably go a little bit faster. Okay, I'm gonna go under those same three and capture that and then under the next three. I'm gonna do this all the way across. So groups of three or four are good and you just wanna make sure that your count then with the number of strands you have works out to be a multiple of three or four. That way you don't have extra on the end. So I'm going under the three that I just did and then under the next three. I've gone under those three, we're gonna go under them again and then under the next three and that will complete that row once I secure the last three. All right, so now with my pick, whatever pick you have, this is a cheap one from the store for hair, works great. You just wanna make sure your line's even. This really helps you work with it. Makes everything look nice and tidy. See how I fixed the last row, make that tidy. I'm gonna take the reed to the bottom. Take the reed to the bottom and now we're gonna take the shuttle back through. And you don't want to pull too tight on the side. You don't want it to dent in too much. It just needs to be secure. You're going to take the reed and tamp it down just a bit. But just go for making it nice and even. See, I want to take the center line down just a little bit. You can manipulate it with your pick, which is really nice gives you so much control. Okay. I will do a couple of rows and then I can get it even more organized. out make it nice and that's how you do the Brooks bouquet all right weaving is so much fun it's fun to start and finish a project in a shorter amount of time than if you were to do it knitting or crocheting and to do this Brooks bouquet pattern just really adds a lot of variety. Just adds some pizzazz to your scarf. It's neat to have this pattern running through, making it look kind of lacy and just really interesting. So I hope you enjoy doing the Brooks bouquet. All right, if you like this programming, I invite you to go to my website, rehashfiber.com. Check out Patreon for as little as a dollar a month you can really help out with all of this. Also, there's merchandise for sale there. A whole lot of fun. So, all right, everybody. Happy weaving, and thanks for watching.